ecology. We're here to talk about ecology along with Mononoke Hime. You can see the, the deer god in the background of this picture. And the deer god, in a way, is a symbol or a metaphor for the cycles of living and dying, the day and the night, that are the background patterns that allow ecology to happen. So what is ecology? Well, broadly, there's two ways to think about it that are connected. Ecology is a biological science that studies the relationships between organisms and their relationships with their physical environments. Now, there's another way as people's politics and philosophy has been influenced by the study of ecology, something called the ecology movement has emerged. And now these are political movements where people are trying to mitigate the damage done to ecological relations and patterns. It's also one kind of environmentalism, if you will. So the first, ecology, the biological science. I think you're familiar with it. You've probably seen charts like this in high school, maybe even in primary school. But you can see it. it's, this is a food web. So it's, it's a, a description of a system of relations of eating and being eaten, dying and living and being born. So it's the idea that life doesn't come from individual organisms, but in fact, the relationships between them. And now here are our political ecologists, our part of the ecological movement in the United States. Um, and they are trying to protect the biological ecological relations by stopping this coal burning power plant from changing the energy in the atmosphere and transforming life on Earth. So this beautiful scene, of course, is the climax forest where the deer god lives. Now, a climax ecology is an idea from biological ecology of a fully grown ecosystem where there's many different plants and animals, maximum diversity, and very, it's very stable. The trees have grown to their most, their maximum growth. It's a kind of, in some ways, it's the kind of, um, it's the ultimate, it's the Eden for some theories of, of biological ecology, the idea that there's a, a stable, complex system. Another way to think about ecology that connects the ideas is thinking with the roots of the word. So ecology comes from the Greek oikos, which is the same eco as economy. So we might think about the system of relations as ways of making home or habitat making home and habitat together. Places like the Deer God's Grove, or Ashitaka's Village, or Irontown, or the Tree of the Kodama Spirits. So the ecological thought, this is an idea that brings together political ecology and the biological ecology, and this is what are the philosophy, aesthetics, and ethics that merge out of the thought that everything is connected. So for example, take a look at this diagram you can see each of the lines is a connection between a different character or location in this film. So this is a way of thinking about this film as a system of relations, as a mesh or a web. And this is how ecological thinking works. It thinks in terms of interconnected relations that no, the system requires multiple relations for it to happen. Another way to think about it is in terms of how this story emerges. So not how it plays out in the film, but how it emerges. It starts with Irontown and the making of the steel. And then the, the steel ball enters the boar and the boar leads us to Ashitaka. And then Ashitaka leads us back into Japan and finally to the forest and to Irontown. So where we, we follow a pattern of relations of the iron and the iron ball from which the story emerges. Finally, there's another way to think about ecology and in a more like ecolo political ecology way of how the story is a progress parable, a parable from the move from small villages to early industrialism. So here we have Ashitaka's village again, and they live peacefully with the Kodama so that the forest grows to be like a climax forest with the, all of the spirits. 
But this has been threatened by contemporary well, and also historical industrial development. So Irontown is like civilization laying waste to nature, cutting into the soil, cutting the trees down, producing systems collapse, which is something we're starting to see. Oh, 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 oh. something's in the air. Whoa, my own. Ah, oh. Okay, I'm just kidding. So, well, I'm not really kidding. I mean, I've been out there in the streets breathing in stuff that's coming from you know, our iron towns. But our iron towns are making the ecological systems collapse on this planet. In some ways, we're either in this moment or this moment. Either we're in the middle of the collapsing systems or we're living in the ruins. This is the state of our ecology. And so this film is important because it's past casting moral judgment. Iron town bad, Ashitaka good. This is not what's going on. Instead, it's trying to show us how to feel our way through already living in the ruins.